Hey, and welcome to 3D Dad Tech. Today we're going to be discussing the methods I use to print TPU on and under 3. Now, there comes a controversy debate on if it is possible to print TPU on a stock under 3, and the answer is yes, it is possible. But, after extensive research, I have found that some operators find it rather difficult to print TPU on a stock under 3. Now, that being said, before I invested into a spool of TPU, I looked into certain parameters that would assist one with great ease and less frustration while printing TPU on and under 3. Now, by consolidation of ideas projected into one, this is the method I came up with that works for me. Hopefully, it can work for you. The first required upgrade for this method to be reproduced is the direct drive. The direct drive can be found on Amazon.com. You have your Micro Swiss. A lot of people prefer. And then you have your Corality, which is fairly cheaper, about half the cost. So I went with this one. After you've added direct drive to your cart, you can now go ahead and search for the Ender 3 glass bed. My personal preference for mounting a glass bed to an Ender 3 is a glue stick method. This method can be found down below in the description. There are many options to choose from, but this is the option that I went with to provide this method. After you have the recommended upgrades purchased and installed, you are now ready to open Kira. The first step in Kira is change your filament type. You're going to change your filament type to TPU. Now that you selected your filament type, you're going to have to select an STL file, rather it be a one you made or one that you found on the internet. Here are the settings that I have found to work for me. You're going to want to start off first by changing the material settings. This can be done by dropping down the material tab and changing the printing temperature to 230 degrees Celsius and the print bed temperature to 70 degrees Celsius. Now you have to adjust the value of your default printer speed settings. This can be done by clicking the tab, dropping it down, and now inputting 30 millimeters second. Next, you have to disable the retractions. To do so, click the travel tab, then click the box marked Enable Retractions. Now we scroll down to the bottom where we see the experimental tab. Open the tab and you will see Enable Coasting. Click the box Enable Coasting. You see these numbers right here. These numbers fluctuate depending on your personal preferences that you have on your machine. With that being said, you may need to adjust these numbers based upon your personal preference. To convert the now present STL file into a G-code, minimize this menu, and go down to the bottom where it says Slice. With decreasing the printer speed to 30 millimeters a second, you are now going to see an increase on the completion for your estimated time for your print. Once the file has been sliced into a G-code, it can now be saved to the Corality provided micro SD card. The new G-code file is now ready to be printed in TPU. Hey, so using this provided method, these are some of the prints I was able to achieve. Got Batarang. Desktop Caddy. Hold your pens, phone. All in a nice one little spot. Now that being said, you don't have to follow this method, you can choose to, but whichever method you choose and it works for you, that's the one that works for you. Thanks for watching, take care.